happy new year and i hope your 2023 is all well welcome back to swift media my name is annabelle make sure you subscribe make sure you share make sure you like and make sure you leave a comment down below to share your thoughts and to share your reactions on to this moment story we are going to talk about brenda jones i mean so many people uh, yesterday before we crossed over to 2023 so many people are giving out their 2022 highlights and brenda jones uh, came out to share her story about what happened in her 2022 i read out her insta stories of what she shared first she sh uh, she said she she was into alcoholism we all know she posted that she is into homosexuality uh, she also said she was into depression but the highlight of them all you people is that she got saved she changed her ways and now she's a new creation uh, let me read out her insta stories so that you get to know whatever she shared about what happened to her in the year 2022 and here i start i'll start this year in one word god has been my redeemer i never knew i would come back to christ this soon but he found me and carried me home because of his love and his mercies so mm -hmm. he went ahead and said this year i lost friends some who betrayed me talked ill of me and some who couldn't go on with me in my new journey almost lost my life to alcohol and to things I can't even testify yet. Made really bad decisions. I didn't know I could make it alive. I never knew it was possible to come out on the other side alive. But God, mm -hmm. on 7th of August, a long time friend of mine and I reconnected. And she talked to me about Jesus and reminded me days I used to really serve God. And in my heart, I knew it was time to come back home. That same night, I gave my life back to Christ, and I knew it wasn't going to be easy. But since I had known God for some many years, I knew it wasn't a mistake. Since that night, to be honest, nothing else mattered. Everything I had, gone bef I had done before that didn't matter anymore. Jesus had really forgiven me, like for real. He had really set me free and he promised to never change his mind about me and I made a firm decision that I never want to depart from him ever again. <laughs> I remember a day last year I embarrassed myself publicly, put my family to shame and most of all my God. I have fallen so much that looking back to uh, at I, I do not recognize that person. I was blinded by alcoholism and homosexuality that I I never thought that was the end of life for me. I fell into depression and looking back only God could have saved me. Only him, honestly. The hole I was in, only the hand of Jesus could reach to me. I was literally like Daniel in the lion's den, almost eaten by the lion, but God's hand away. Only his hand reached out to me. And I keep wondering how good God is that he forgave such filthiness man. If God was a man, Brenda would, he, uh, would be gone and forgotten. But this God, full of chances, he just looked at me and loved me the same way he had loved me when I was first born, blameless. How can I not serve him? I have never heard things from people. I uh, I have heard things from people I thought were, pe were my people, and I got very hurt. It is well. All I can say is, life away from Christ has been an education, and even more now in Christ, I'm learning every day to forgive and just leave everything in God's hand. I'm just hoping my testimony lifts someone up. Uh, that being in Christ really fulfills. In 2022, I started a ministry, a group of people who have been nothing but blessing to me. Those people in many that one ways inspire me daily and keep me on my toes. I have made such good friends 
and have gained a family that only God would have given. Growing in Christ, family, I love you. Finally, I'm so happy to be ending 2022 with Jesus and starting a new year born again in you. Don't know where God is taking me. I'm just excited to see it. For Jeremiah 29:11 is active in my life that he knows the plans he has for me and they are plans to prosper me and not to destroy me. I love you, Jesus. He ended by saying, so I do hope that the little recap and testimony blesses your heart and encourages you uh -huh. and encourages you to simply accept Christ and rest in him. Don't complicate it. Just let him to be the one to lead you. Stop leading God. He'll do the rest for you. So God has led me to start over as a new creation and to leave all I was behind and be his and his alone. I am exalted. Are you? Hivyo ndivyo aliweza kumalizia post yake it's clear she has uh, she has uh, ameongea kuhusu everything that she wanted to talk about that is depression, alcoholism, uh, friends betrayal and being born again that was the highlight that she is a changed creature, she is a new creature, she is ready to serve God and she is off to alcoholism, off to homosexuality and off to all those bad things. What do you say? Congratulations to her and may God keep her, may God guide her. Make sure you leave your comment.